Okay, so I want to sum number 15 and 13.4, which is from i is 0 to infinity of 3i over 2 raised to the 2i. And I remember this thing about geometric series, right? That 1 plus r plus r squared plus da 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 is 1 over 1 minus r. I should probably add a small caveat to that, which is what? When is that thing not going to make any damn sense at all? When r equals 1. Yeah, when r is bigger than 1 in absolute value, this is not going to make sense. So I should probably throw that assumption in there. Right, because that's really only true when r is in absolute value smaller than 1. If it gets bigger, you get a very small number. If it's bigger, you get infinity. Right, because if it's like 2, you're adding 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32 and not stopping. Right? So you can use the finite sum formula on those, but you can't use the infinite one, it just doesn't work. Okay, so I would like to make the thing I'm looking at look like that, right? So what does this start with? One. Okay, so my first term is 3 to the 0 over 2 to the 0, right? Which is 1 over 1. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, so A1's 1, which is good, because that's the thing I need for my geometry. For the only thing I remember, anyway. All right, what's your next one? When I is 1, what do you got here? 3 over 4. And when I is 2, you got 9 over 16. Which is good because, yeah, because I can see that this next one's going to be 27 over 64, right? If it's not, what am I? <laughs> yeah, good, I'm totally screwed because it's not a geometric series, right? You guys see that? If it's not a geometric series, I definitely am not going to be able to use the geometric sum formula on it. So I need to know what? What do I need to know? It starts with 1. Good. Check. What's my r? <laughs> yeah, good. We're multiplying by 3 quarters every time, right? Yeah. Uh, which I could see up here by rewriting 3i over 2 to the 2i as 3 over 2 squared all to the i. Just 3 quarters, right? Cool. Okay, so so this one just straight up looks like the formula, right? No factoring necessary. So what do you get? One over good. One over one minus three quarters, which gives you one over one quarter, which gives you four. Cool, check that. Oh, yeah. All right. 